वॉट आर द वॉट आर द मेन प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड प्रोग्रामिंग दैट इज इन शॉर्ट इट इज नोन एज ऊप सो वॉट इज द मेन प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ दिस वन एंड हाउ कैन यू एक्सप्लेन दीज प्रिंसिपल्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ वन रियल टाइम एग्जाम्पल एंड इट वुड बी ग्रेट इफ यू कैन एक्सप्लेन दिस विद द प्रोग्रामिंग इन जावा दैट हाउ द रिलेट टू एंड वॉट आर द की टर्मिनोलॉजीज सो फर्स्ट लेट्स राइट डाउन ऑल द प्रिंसिपल्स दैट आर देयर सो फर्स्ट वन इज इन कैप्सुलेशन एंड सेकेंड वन इज अब्सट्रैक्शन third one is inheritance and fourth one is polymorphism let's come to the first one that is encapsulation encapsulation is a practice of building the data encapsulation is the practice of bundling bundling the data and methods like we do in a class methods operate on the data in a single unit like a class it also involves restricting access of the data to the clients which means preventing accidental interference with the data so that is the reason in classes you have seen like we have to keep the data as a private and we have to expose the methods and allow methods to operate on the data the example in java is a class uh, class has a data and a method also data is something that we keep private method is something that we put as a public one method also can be private but usually these are the methods that other classes call that is what is encapsulation if i talk about an any real time example real life example actually on this one so you see bank account right in bank account the bank account balance is a private attribute of the class and methods that balance is a private attribute but the methods are there like deposit withdraw are there they will work as a public methods to be called by some other party coming to the next one that is abstraction abstraction is abstraction termed as a hiding and hiding the complexity only expose the functionality that is needed by the end user whatever logic that is written in a method can be abstracted from the method name itself you see we have so that we, the clients just has to know that what is the method name what it is doing it does not have to be client this should not be worried about that one right so that is what it like it gives the simplicity to the system real life example if you see the car button is there right so you just pressing the button car gets started but you don't have to worry about how internally it is starting the engine how fuel is burning and all that thing so that is abstracted away from there the same thing is in here as well so you see the interfaces interfaces in java are the abstraction and there are classes that you implemented right so you expose the interfaces to the client and that is how they call it and they don't have to worry about how the implementation is right coming to the third one that is inheritance inheritance as the word suggest like word ex, uh, explain this one that inheriting something from someone so let's say there is a functionality that is already implemented and there is some other party that is coming and they want to implement the similar thing so they can borrow that functionality from the previous functionality that is already there right that is what we know say that inheritance so in real life let's say there is a car made and car has basic feature implemented and there is a sports car being built right 
and sports cars will have some specific features on top of the basic features that are in car so sports car can extend from car and apply the uh, any it can add any new feature that is needed and it does not have to implement the basic feature that are available in the car so that is the real time example coming to the last one that is polymorphism polymorphism says the same name but different meaning if i take an example of remote control right so if i am operating the remote of the tv so i'll press the button it will change the channel and all that if i am controlling the remote of ac so that we are saying it the name as a uh, remote only but the functionality when we click on the start button we click on the plus button internal functionality it changes like ac is increasing or decreasing the temperature it, tv is changing the channel increasing the volume or decreasing the volume that is what is the polymorphism so the name is same but the meaning it changed when the context is changing underlying context is changed so this is the example and understanding about the oop concepts that are there and this is also important that you write a class write a java code also to explain this one so i am going to do that next i'll write a one class and explain you the concept of oop there also so let's go to the intellij and write that class so here uh, we are at the intellij so let me go ahead and create the class so i want to define vehicle class in here okay and i want to keep this class as abstract abstract means i want to define something some other class will be override so let me write uh, finish writing this one then i will uh, explain everything in detail uh, string name i want two properties with this one vehicle and i want to have a constructor this one right and let's have a getter methods also so that we can fetch it and we want one method that is public string make so this method i want to keep this abstract okay so these are the two data members this is the constructor this is the public method that is export to get the name and speed and this is the abstract that because this is the generic vehicle that is there and i will be creating the uh, realistic like actual vehicles uh, uh, out of this one right so that will have the specific sound but just naming the vehicle i cannot so i have to see like what vehicle it is right so what is the name what is the speed only then i will be able to uh, clearly say that what sound it is making so i am making this as a abstract okay so let's create that vehicle first vehicle that i want is a car so i want car as a vehicle and i want to borrow the features from the vehicle this one right so whenever you create this one you say this one uh you have to implement the method that is in the vehicle so intellij id if you are using this one it will just uh, give the error in this one if you click on this one it will ask you to implement this one so you can implement this so i can implement this make sound in here and car making sound okay and also i have to create this vehicle right so i have to add the constructor in here as well that is it is taking the name and speed also automatically so intellij created this me automatically but i can create the manually also because while whenever creating the car i have to pass the name and speed that is how vehicle will be created only different thing is the make sound in here and other 
I can have some methods around some specific methods of this one uh, like I want the method to have public I want to put acceleration okay and then printing accelerating okay and I can have one more method that will increase the speed by some number accelerate increment so accelerating by so whatever value I have given it it will just uh, increment the speed by that number so this is the vehicle car class that is there and one more vehicle I can create just to differentiate thing that is bike okay and this also extends vehicle if it is extending the vehicle I have to create the constructor for the name and speed and also I have to override which method if you click on the override you have to select which method you want to override so make sound it something that I want to override because that was the start one bike making sound okay so what other uh, bike extends vehicle and in here also I can implement the custom methods of the bike that is uh, whatever is needed in this one but for understanding let's uh, go with this only and because uh, just to simulate I have created other methods in this one like accelerates on this and this one so this this covers the thing so let's see how this can be used vehicle main so this is the class where i will be using the these three classes that we just created so i so you can consider it as this vehicle main as a client class that is using this one okay so what i have to create so the thing vehicle is the generic class that is there so i whenever i say create a vehicle that means i will be creating whether bike or car right so i can say that i'm creating the vehicle so vehicle but i will say that i am creating a car okay and this is how i have to name the car xyz and its speed like initial speed or whatever is there that i can give let's say give it the number as a 12 initial speed is this one okay so this is how i created let's say i created car one the same way i can create the car 2 as well so internally this is a car but for the outside what we can say car is also a vehicle you can say its name is abc and this is uh, its speed initial speed is 5 only the same way i can create bike also name let's say i'm creating hero as a bike and initial speed i am giving it 2 all right now if i have to demonstrate the thing so one thing is in here like encapsulation is with by this property in here like the methods attributes are private in here but the methods are public so it is the uh, demonstration of encapsulation okay and if I come to car class, it has this accelerate methods in here, accelerates methods in here. Basically, we are overloading this one. O method overloading, we say, right? So, whenever we call this one, it will work differently. And whenever we call this one by this method parameter, it will work differently. So, the name is same, but the functionality is different, right? functionality is different in here so coming to this make sound that that we are borrowing from uh, we are having so vehicle you can say that 
vehicle had some contract defined that make sound should be there whichever is creating the car so car has its own sound bike has its own sound so if we call this method we say that make sound and if underlying if underlying vehicle is car it will make speed different it will make sound differently and bike will make sound differently so let's demonstrate this so let's say i say car 1 dot make sound and bike 1 dot make sound if i call car 2 dot make sound that will also make the sound because this is the car only right so the sound will be same so let's run this program Okay, make sound. Let me go to this method. Car. Okay, it is returning actually. So I do not want to return anything, but I just want to print it in here. I can, I could have printed there only as well, but. Okay, so this is returning the sound not printing anything so that print part I have to do in here. So let's do it in here. So we can do both way we could have done there as well. This right so just copy this one. Okay, so run this again. Okay, so car making sound, bike making sound. So we called the same method make sound, but they are making sound differently. So car is same. So that is why we are seeing the same thing. So just comment this out, but bike is making the different sound. So this is the demonstration of polymorphism. Let's see the encapsulation in here also. How I can say that encapsulation? So if I have to print the name, uh, print the name and speed of car one. So how can I get that? So let's say car one name. How will I get this one? Car one if you click on dot so you will say the get name make sound and get a speed you won't be able to get the you won't be able to access the name directly okay so this one you cannot access because that is a private so you have to access it via name only the same way we can have car one speed get a speed right Let's print the details about bike also. The same way I can call bike one dot get name and bike one dot speed. No error is there. So this is the demonstration of the encapsulation. This will print the name and this speed also. And let's have a demonstration about overloading. Method overloading that I explained. So S out carbon dot accelerate. So let's see if has okay. So this is carbon.
so see interesting thing is that i am not able to access the accelerate here right car one is there it is in the uh, because we are referring it with the vehicle right so let's make changes in this one so take this in here okay if i have this we like this vehicle is the reference variable but underlying it is a car i won't be able to access the method that are in the car ex exclusively in the car class itself to access that one i have to change this as a car here and if i do this way car 2 i should be able to access the accelerates in here right uh, okay this is printing in here so uh there is discrepancy that the way i implemented this one so one place i did the print ln one place i did not but that is fine so if i call the car 2 dot accelerate it should print the things and if i call this accelerates and i give the initial speed let's say 4 so i will be able to get the car is accelerating by this speed so if i print this again so this is the overloading part in here so the same name but different parameters different functionality so you see accelerating accelerating by speed 4 and we are getting the car name bike name in here right so speed 1 2 you are seeing this one because there is a if i do this way this will print this properly okay so this is how you can get this running and this is how you can practice and exa like write the program quickly if interviewer is asking it and explain this whatever the concepts are there so um, in interviews usually time is less so he won't be able to uh, like he won't be asking you to the write the complete program but you have a understanding deep down so you will be able to explain this is in 2 3 minutes only okay so that is the thing keep it time bound while explaining but here you are understanding first time that is why it is taking time i am i am taking the time to explain it also but in meantime if you have any question please put that in the comment section i will be able to help that with that one only so now that's it about this one let's see some of the related concepts that we are covering in this interview series only so class is an object what are class is an object what are methods what are attributes what are constructors what are access modifiers what are interfaces what are abstract classes so these are the related things that are come in the oop concept only in a way we have covered methods what are the attributes constructor also get the deeper understanding understand more when we talk about the constructor there are there are there, are, there is like uh, maybe interviewer is asking this what is constructor so you can say that constructor is there to have the initialization whenever you are creating the class but there is more things about constructor so go ahead go ahead and check that out and give the deeper uh, take the deeper details about that the same is for the interface abstract class also so get the proper understanding about this one so what are the related questions that come can come out of this one concept of encapsulation with real world example we understood this one how does abstraction differ from encapsulation this also we understood we understood can you provide an example to illustrate the difference difference between what difference between abstraction and encapsulation so i think this is one uh, some question has come in between so there is a difference between encapsulation and uh, like uh, abstraction only so how they differ and provide an example what is inheritance in oop how is it different from composition so both of them both of them are there to reuse the functionality but the way they work is different so get the details about the inheritance be understood so get the understanding about the composition also so that you are able to differentiate it can you explain polymorphism in oop with the code example we understood this what is the difference between method overloading overriding and method overloading so uh, method overloading the accelerate method that we were doing uh we created the accelerate method right in the same class so that was method overloading two methods we were using and method overriding was something that were that we were doing with the make sound that was method overriding but there is more to it get the proper table wise uh, differences uh, from the internet and get the proper understanding why do we use interfaces in java how they are different from the abstract classes 
what are the excess modifiers and how do they how do they impact encapsulation describe a scenario where you would use an abstract class instead of an interface how can you implement multiple inter inheritance in java what are design patterns and how they relate to o principles so these are the related questions uh, some of these things i explained in this video itself some of these might be uh, some of these you have to explain on yourself but get the understanding uh, before going to the interview this way uh, you will be properly prepared to answer anything around the oop so in uh, during this session if you have not understood anything you want me to explain any of these questions so just comment that out that question i will try to make that video as soon as possible on that one so i hope you like this one you like the series go ahead and check the description for other videos take out like you can take the code references also all the links are available uh, all the links are available in the description box code is available on github so go ahead and check that out so i'll see you in the next one till then take care bye bye